this, I believe, is a seven gallon propane tank. I wanted to make a wood stove for our trailer since we use it for camping a lot. Five gallons seemed a little small to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and make one out of the seven gallon and we'll see how things go. It does have propane in it, just a little bit. We were venting it out. It has old style valves on it, that's why he didn't care for it anymore. My So there's a couple that babysits our kids and he had a few of these said I could take them if I wanted them. I just took the one that was most beat up looking and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make a stove out of it. Got to pull that valve off and fill it full of water before I start doing anything with it.
Well, it's full of water and it stinks out here. I actually drained it once and refilled it with water. But uh, it's safe to cut on now. It's still full of water right now. Trying to cut this in to get it to fit. Didn't have a good way to measure it that I didn't come up, at least the one I didn't come up with and I got a little too aggressive. I thought that looked a little deep, but anyway, I did that on all four corners. So I will have to fill that in. I will, not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. Probably just put a piece of uh, plate there and fill it with weld and then blend it in. I'm not sure, I'll figure it out. Well, that took a little while. I decided to just go ahead and fill them in with weld instead of cutting pieces for them because it was an awkward shape and everything. So what I'll do is I'll end up blending those in a little bit with a uh, sanding disc and then I'll go ahead and weld it up. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Um, my phone was about dead so I had to charge it and while it was charging I ended up welding this top on and grinding off um, the gunk on the sides and I ended up also um, removing the bottom flange that was right here so let me just show you what I did again I had holes here so I filled it with weld I blended it in with the um, sanding disc and then I welded the rest of this on you see I did that for every corner and I like the looks of it so far Sure stinks still though, like propane, you can still smell it quite a lot. 
Um, anyway, what I plan on doing right now is uh, probably the first thing is I'll do is probably build the door. And then on the door, I think I'm going to build a venting mechanism for the air. I think on this one, I'm also going to build a grate. I'm probably just going to build it out of round bar so that the ash can fall down. And then I want to uh, build an ash pan down here. And I'm going to end up cutting a strip along the bottom where the ash can fall down into the pan through the grate. And yeah, anyway. I think that's what I'll plant. I'll do there, the door. I may put the flue coming out the back instead of out, of out of the top, right here. I may put like a mechanism here and weld it on where it comes up and out. I don't know yet. And this one will probably not have a baffle unless I can get it in diagonally through here. I wouldn't mind having a little bit of a baffle, but uh, with that curve on the back, I don't know if I'll be able to match the curve very well. We'll just see. Until next time.